Good morning, guys. I'm Sean with Tomar. I'm here with Carl Lee with Rebel Brush Trucks. Uh, today, we're at booth 9443, and we're showcasing their uh, Type 6 brush truck. Yeah, what we have here, we uh, build exclusively in Las Vegas. We've got the Night Stalker edition here for the show. Um, it's a Dodge 5500. Uh, we're accenting our vehicle with the response lights from Tomar Products, which we're very proud of to be partnering with the company. Um, we've got with the black and the orange package here, uh, full black body, uh, lift kit. We've got the tires and wheels for that off-road application uh, that we can get off-road and do our thing. Um, we've got a hot 450 gallons of water on the truck, 12 of foam. Uh, we've got a great scene light package. So again, off-road, on-road, on the scene, we can light the uh, image up wherever we're at. So what uh, what would your customers do with this type of vehicle? Primarily grass fire situations, but again, some of our customers like to do rescue operations. So they'll change the configuration of the truck for rescue, uh, response. Uh, a lot of companies or, or agencies don't have the money to buy a type one pumper. So we're a great alternative for them for initial knockdown. There's plenty of water on this truck to get the job done. So it's a multifunctional unit for some departments. Seating for five inside. Uh, so we have an option that can get a lot of crew there. Uh, it's a single man operation like in the cab here. We've got a TFT bumper turret on the front. So you can command that from the joystick inside and you can put fire out before the rest of the crew shows up and uh, make the rest of the boys a little jealous so that you put the fire out all by yourself. And is this uh, customizable to different operations? Absolutely, we got, we got eight different body configurations that we can provide to the customer depending on what their application is, what kind of uh, wildland rescue, any of those operations that they need to do. And again, depending on their organization and where they're located, we've got different lift kits that we can do, tire and wheel options, color options. So again, we'll do whatever it is. Uh, again, this is the Night Stalker edition, so we're pretty proud of it. That's awesome. I saw your uh, company online and we, we understand the importance of uh, brush trucks and the customization when it comes to these types of vehicles. And um, so us at Tomar are very grateful to have you guys as a partner. Yeah, we're, we're looking for the advancements that are coming out. I mean, we're pretty excited about the package that we currently are utilizing. But again, we're looking for that customer specific option that they need and whether they want to go the red, the blue, the white, or whatever colors they want to do, uh, we're going to work closely with you to make sure that customer gets what they need. I want to take you guys around to the front. Um, I know it's a pretty cool truck, and I wanted to kind of uh, put, put a spotlight on some of the uh, equipment that we use for this truck when it comes to emergency lighting and scene lighting. Um, you'll see in the front here, we have a TRX, which is a dual color, amber, uh, full amber, full white override bar. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need your scene light, uh, it's perfect for the application. However, if you get into smoke, dust, fog, uh, you turn your ambers on and uh, you're able to break through those uh, those particles. And I did have an opportunity. I got stuck in snow coming out of Vail, Colorado. So I did use the light bar. I did use the amber color. And uh, again, got through the situation and it was awesome. So very cool. Uh, everything around this truck is dual mode. And uh, when we're when Carl and I were having a discussion about what to do with this vehicle, I think we both agreed that uh, the dual mode capability was something that was imperative, especially for the crews that are out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so while they're responding, they have uh, red and white, uh, but once they get off road and they're trying to find their scene, you can independently control each side of this truck uh, to turn all your emergency lights into now a uh, override scene light. So you're saving cost on um, your emergency and scene warning and you're eliminating failure points around this vehicle. So uh, you'll see up here, we have the iLED. It's a tri-color and you have three different modes with this. Turns into additional scene lighting. Uh, up top, we have a dual color uh, Black Widow bar. And the great thing about these bars is that they're all modular. So if your crews are out in the middle of nowhere, they bust a module, the rest of the bar is still gonna work, uh, but you don't need it down your truck for an extended period of time. And you use this simply an Allen key and you replace the module and you're back up and running. So not only are you saving costs, you're effectively leaving your truck in service for a longer period of time. Uh, one of the other options that Sean helped me with was the traffic advisor on the back. We have our spare tire mounted on top of the water tank. So unless you're within, you know, 25 feet of the, you're gonna miss that. So we do have a traffic advisor in the 
bottom channels for scene protection of our crew members out in the field. Well, Carl, we, we certainly appreciate it. Glad to be a partner. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for everything.